Fordham University football Rams ventured up to West Point on Friday night looking for their first ever win over Army and their second victory over an NCAA FBS opponent over the past three years. And they got both with a 37-35 win over Army West Point. After Fordham went down early 7-0, a Chase Edmonds 46-yard run set up a Kevin Anderson six-yard scoring rush to tie the game at seven. After Army took a 14-7 lead, the Rams responded as Anderson hit Faison Odom for 29 yards on the first play from scrimmage. And the drive ended with a 14-yard romp from Edmonds to knot the contest at 14. Early in the second quarter, an 87-yard pass play from Anderson to Edmonds put the ball on the Army six. For the Rams not to settle for a 22-yard McKay Red field goal, his first collegiate field goal, and a 17-14 lead. An Army score later in the period gave the home squad a 21-17 advantage, but the Rams came back with a scoring drive kept alive by a 17-yard completion from Anderson to Ben Johnson on third and 10, followed by a 34-yard strike from Anderson to Odom that put the ball on the Army 10. Three plays later, Edmonds found the end zone for the second time to give the Rams a 24-21 lead. A J.Q. Barr was interception with 27 seconds left in the half. Led to a red 27-yard field goal on the final play of the half as Fordham took a 27-21 lead at the break. Army's second drive of the second half ended after three plays and as the Black Knights attempted a punt, the snap sailed over the pencil's head who ran it out of the end zone for a safety to increase the Fordham lead to 29-21. However, an Army touchdown and two-point conversion late in the third tied the game at 29. But early in the fourth quarter, Anderson hit Ben Johnson for a 12-yard gain on third and 10 to put the ball on the Army 15. Two plays later, Edmonds found the end zone again and a two-point conversion boosted the Fordham lead to 37-29. Later in the quarter, Army scored to make it a 37-35 game but the Fordham defense stopped the Black Knights' two-point conversion. Army had one last chance to win the game, but an incomplete pass on fourth down from midfield with under a minute remaining sealed the win for the Rams. Yeah, what's this mean to your program and just talk about how your team uh, battled back the whole way? You know, I, I really can't say enough about these kids. You know, the standard that we've set here over the past four years, We've set the bar very high to get our second FBS win in three years. Uh, and the amount of seniors that we graduated, the amount of production we lost, and, and the guys who were on the field, you know, playing in their first collegiate game or making their first collegiate starts, for us to produce the way we did offensively, defensively, special teams, and uh, make big plays at key moments of the game, I, I, I couldn't be more proud of these guys. It, it's, it's a huge step for our program. And, uh, it, 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 I, I couldn't be more happy for these kids. What would you tell them after the way the game started? Because I'm sure that's not an ideal way to begin. Well, I told them uh, the first thing is better ball security to Kevin. But uh, we, we addressed this uh, you know, this afternoon in our team meeting, and one of the big points was weather the storm. And we said uh, never too high, never too low. And there's going to be ebbs and flows in the game. You know, there's going to be fluctuations in, in performance. And we just told the guys they need to stay on an even keel. And, and one of our philosophies is one at a time. So if it plays good or plays bad, you can't worry about it, move on to the next one. And, uh, you know, Kevin obviously had a short memory and uh, you know, went on to have a great game. So uh, we just told him to stay the course. Coach, anything you stress at halftime to the team after maybe some things didn't go the way you would like in the first half? No, we, we, we do what we always do. You know, we got together offensively, defensively, special teams, you know, talk about you know, what occurred in the first half and the adjustments we needed to make. You know, they told the ladies and guys they had 30 minutes to make a memory for a lifetime. Uh, one play at a time in the championship standard. Uh, I thought our defense really came out and bowed their back in the second half and got a bunch of stops. The offense, we stubbed our toe a little bit. You know, didn't have the production that we had in the first half, but uh, you know, got, got a, a key touchdown there. Uh, you know, moved the ball a little bit, and ultimately the defense and, and special teams did a great job in the second half. But on an unplanned uh, PAT run, that was definitely not called. You know, got a step before. That was not. For the both of you guys, when Army, the fourth down pass falls incomplete in the final seconds, what's going through your head? For me, it's glory to God, it's ultimate happiness. It's, it's, it's no emotion, I just was so excited, just grabbed my teammates, just looked in the eyes, and 
is a victory. It's the best formation in football. Can you take us through what the fourth quarter was like? Because there are so many twists and turns. You know, an onside kick, um, they get the ball back with, with one kind of last desperation shot. What, what are you guys thinking about that? Yeah, it was definitely a uh, turn of the tides. I mean, especially the two point conversion that we got and stopped. It was, I think, Caleb Ham. I had, they had like a completed ball on him. And short memory, made a great play on the goal line. So that was just a big high low. And the onside kick is just, we played as a family. And we were just so confident and all together. And, like, we're all so close that we we knew. Hands teaming out there, we said we trust everyone. It wasn't a doubt in mind that our guys out there, Robbie Cantelli, Kendra Piercy, got it confidently and just scooped it up. And just the whole time we fought together as a team, and it was just a family victory. Coach, yeah. can, sorry. just last year it was a very similar game, and they came out ahead. Um, were you thinking at all heading into this season about how things went in November? Um, and, you know what you might do a little differently to win? Yeah, the, the thing that we talked about. You know, relative to last year's game, was our need to capitalize on our possessions offensively. You know, last year we we opened the game, and we drilled the ball down pretty well. We had a drop pass on our first drive, had to settle for a field goal. Uh, you know, had a penalty and a turnover, and it really only equated to 10 points, I believe, in the first half when it could have been 21 or more. And uh, you know, had to block punt, box some momentum, and then they came out in the third quarter and drilled the ball. I think we only had five offensive plays. So the big thing for us in the focus offensively and defensively was maximize our possessions put a bunch of points on the, on the uh, board in the first half to force them out of their comfort zone a little so they couldn't milk the clock and, and keep the ball out of our offense hands. And our defense did a good job. You know, in the second half, kind of, it was the opposite of what happened last year. You know, I mean, in the third quarter last year, Army came out and moved the ball at will. And we were really much we could do to stop. And our, our defense did a good job responding to getting some stops. We, we talked about tackles for loss and getting them behind the sticks and third longs and fourth and longs and, and getting them more comfortable. Kevin, when you decided to transfer from Marshall is it a goal of yours to beat an FBS school? Um, not necessarily. I treat our coaching staff, our team, we treat every game the same. Um, we treat every opponent the same. We treat them with as much respect as possible and we prepare. And so it's just fun to play against another team, you know, like a team that has FPS quality or they're labeled FPS, you know. So there's just a little more excitement, but treat it the same as every game. Yeah, and the message to our guys is we compete against a standard. We don't compete against exactly. an opponent. We don't compete against an expectation level. We don't compete against other people's opinions. There's three phases of victory, preparation, effort, execution. And if we're all playing with all those throughout the week in practice and in the game, you know, and it, our, our level of play should fluctuate based on who we're playing. It should, it should be the same every time. And that's a credit to, to the assistant coaches and these kids to understand that you know, every week you've got to come out and talk your game. Uh, and tonight we did.